Hello everyone. I'm going to show you how to make these butterflies. Actually, it's upside down. They're not hard. They're really easy and I haven't like expanded them. Like put glue right there and all that. I haven't done all that. But I just wanted to get this on and show you. So you could get to making some. You can also make flowers with these. Um, I just haven't made any yet. Um, if you want to see a tutorial on the flowers, I can do that. But I just wanted to get this one on. And all I did is your toilet paper holder. Painted the outside. Painted the inside. The inside's kind of hard to paint, but it's paintable. And um, I will tell you to gesso it first before you paint it just so the paint takes better. If you don't have gesso you can make some. Um, not quite sure what all goes into it but as soon as I'm done with my gesso that I bought a while ago I will be making my own. And if you don't have gesso you're just going to have to put some extra coats on it anyway. So This one I'm going to do the purple and the blue just because it's ones I have leftovers so I can show y'all. So you take one you cut them into strips, however thick you want your strips. Um, these are pretty thick strips. Um, you could do half the size and it would be thinner and then they wouldn't be so tall, but they would still be, you know, they would still have the three dimensional. So as you do, and I'm using tacky glue. Um, most everybody uses hot glue. I'm too lazy to get my hot glue gun out, so. I just use this. And you just put glue in the middle and you pinch it together. Then, after it's set for just a little bit so it holds, you can, I use these to hold it while I start getting the other stuff done so it just sits and holds and I don't have to hold it. So then I'm going to do I'm going to do a blue on one side. Yeah, I think that's how I'm going to do it. So what I do is I just open them up where they're open and flimsy and then I take and I put glue right there and then I do it on the other one as well just so it's on there then I take the ones that I have the glue on and I'll put it right I put it right where that other glue was on the outside and I put it on the outside so it's right there. And it'll fall because it likes to be a heifer and because I'm recording it's going to be ten times worse than what it normally would. So, and If you're doing these in assembly line style which makes things go faster, it's much easier. So you just hold those until they're glued or Just because I'm recording, my hands don't want to work, and neither do the glue. So then you just put a clip on there, or I'm actually going to, so it doesn't show the bulkiness of it. I'm going to do just a paper clip. So that's that one. I'm going to do the same on this one. And I want opposite sides, so I'm going to do what I did while I go. Same thing. 
was my dog barking at evidently our mailwoman. For some reason, the paper clips are easier than what the binder clips are. So that's going to stay. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what I would do with this one to make it a little more butterfly-ish. I'm going to put glue right there. bigger. Or fuller, so to say. And then the little one. And then do this other side. So I'm just going to put it right in the fold. So it'll make those go out just a little bit. antennas on here. You can do anything here. I thought about um, like in the middle you could do the flowers. You could do um, these little bling things all the way down. You could do them around. You could decorate them. Um, I even thought you could put paper behind here that's decorated and then your inside's going to be decorated and then you can decorate the outside as well. So, that's the tutorial on the butterflies. If you want a tutorial on the um, flowers, I'll do a tutorial on that and I'll have pictures on my Facebook group in my Facebook group on pictures of the end results of these and I may um, in this video I'm not for sure but that's how you do them. If you want any more information, just ask. Um, I keep up with the comments and I make sure I read them. If I don't respond or like it, I still read them. Um, I just don't always have time to respond, so um, don't take it personal. Um, the group information for the group that I have is in the bottom. Um, we're doing a giveaway um, and everything. And then, um, so join it if you would like, which I hope you all do. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.